Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Here is our uh, Mrs. Claus from last night. And tonight we're gonna paint, paint Santa Claus to go with her. Um, I'm gonna set her off to the side there and tip you guys down and go ahead and get started. I know I'm on a little bit earlier than I said I was going to. I planned on 5.30, but I am exhausted tonight and I am seriously gonna go to bed when I'm done doing this, so. Make sure you say hello when you pop on so that I can say hi to you. So here's our Santa Claus. He is a 3D piece. He is linked um, in the description of the video so that you can purchase him on my website if you'd like. And you can also get it in the set if you don't want it individually. And that would come with Mrs. Claus as well. So go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pull all the 3D pieces off so that I can get working on Santa. Um, I'm missing a piece. I think I accidentally threw a piece of his arm away. That's all right. We'll, we'll paint what we have. I'm going to go ahead and start with white again tonight. I'm going to let that start drying. If anybody said anything, I see I've got some viewers on here, but I've not got any comments. So if you're saying anything, I'm just not seeing it yet. I did not bring my iPad down here tonight. All right. I have to think about this. So he'll be red. So this part will be white. Actually, let me move this up so that you can kind of see what I'm doing. And just like last night, it'll take a couple of layers to cover the white up completely. So I'll start with white, let it sit and dry, and then we'll come back and we'll add another layer. And we'll just do that until we're happy with our colors. So, all right, he'll be white. Then we'll have white on his hands. This is what I think I threw away. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a 3D piece for this and I don't see it sitting here. So I must have thought that it was a scrap and tossed it as my guess. Like this sleeve on his other arm. Oops, here we go, sorry. All right, so there's this sleeve. Wait, he has, Santa has white mittens though, doesn't he? He doesn't have his hands sticking out. Now I'm confused. I don't know, we're gonna go with that. I think he has white, he has like white mittens over his hands. Tell me if I'm wrong guys, but I'm pretty sure Santa has white hands. So I'm wondering, <clears throat> I'm wondering if his sleeve is supposed to be white too or not now. I guess it doesn't matter. It's our project. We can do it how we want to, but I'd like him to look realistic. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint his beard white and we'll do just kind of like we did with Mrs. Claus and add some gray in there later. give him some dimension. All right, so his beard would be white. I gotta do this little hand white. And I'm gonna do a sleeve white over here as well. And then I think the only other, oh, his little, this will need to be white too. <clears throat> his little mustache. And then I'll do uh, the trim on his hat and his little pom-pom on his hat. Or whatever you call those. This is a shoe, right? Okay, those are his little shoes. So these parts will be white as well. And I am gonna do the bottom part of my 3D thing too. Hey guys. Um, just in case it slides, like my Mrs. Claus, when it dried, this part slid a little bit because I used the E6000 and so it's got, um, a little bit of the wood sticking out. So I'll just go over it with black, but I didn't paint the 
undersides of it black yet. So that's what I'm gonna do today is try to paint the bottom parts of it just to prevent that from happening. If that makes sense, if I explain that good, I don't know. Hey, Elizabeth. Hello, Teresa. Hey, Mom. All right, here's his little palm. And then the rim of his hat. I'm gonna do gold buttons on him today. Maybe maybe Santa's buttons are usually black. They probably are, but I thought, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I won't. Yes, I am. I'm gonna do gold. Gold on that and gold around his little belt buckle. Um, and then he'll, he'll match um, Mrs. Claus because we did her in gold yesterday. Hello, Helen, how are you doing today? All right, so I'm just gonna push these up out of the way so that they can dry. <clears throat> and we'll work on, I think I'm gonna do black next. I'm gonna move him right up out of the way. I'm gonna paint um, with his face. We don't really see his face, do we? Not a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna paint his base black and then I'm gonna paint his shoes black and his belt will be black. And then we'll go start on our red. Hey buddy, how are you? Buddy's over at my aunt's house. And even though I said I was gonna paint the bottoms, I'm not gonna waste my time painting the second base part of this. Um, if it sticks out like it did on Mrs. Claus, I'll just throw some paint on there to cover it. I don't think it's worth the time and effort to do that because it should cover it up. Preston says, hello everybody. You guys, if you like watching all these craft events and things, this isn't a craft event, this is just me, but if you like watching the craft -athons and all of that fun stuff and getting inspired by other artists, we do have um, the Merry Makers event coming up next Saturday, so November 13th, and I'm sorry, I do not remember the times, but it's like all day, like nine o'clock in the morning until... I don't know, five in the afternoon, something like that. So definitely, if you're not in that group, let me know and I can get you a link to get signed up in there. But that will be a fun time. So just painting the belt part. Should I do his buttons in gold or should they be black? I don't want to change Santa from his original Santa colors, but... I thought it would be cute if they kind of matched with the gold. All right, get his shoes over here. And then the middle part of this gets painted black too, though, I believe, because this would be, oops, this would be part of the belt. Let's stick this over here. And then Make sure I'm painting the right side of everything. Hello, Ruby. Um, I'll do the gold just because that's just a tiny, tiny piece for him. So I'm just gonna squirt a tiny bit of gold on here. And we'll do the um, belt buckle real quick. I try to do all my pieces of one color at the same time. I don't know if it really makes a difference or not, but it just works for me. Let that sit over there and dry. Do the gold and paint over. If you don't like it, there you go, Elizabeth, that's perfect. Helen says gold too. We will do that, but you've got a good point. We can always paint over it if we don't like it. I've 
sometimes forget about that. All right, so he's gonna have gold buttons to go with his gold belt and then he will match Mrs. Claus. All right, so we'll set those aside. And now we get to start on Santa's Jolly Red outfit. Hello, Luann, how are you doing? Oh, you guys, let me show you. I set this down on the side of me. I was actually gonna take care of it and I didn't. I'm doing a project. I am a guest artist in another uh, membership group this month and our project is gonna have fabric. So my mom went to the grocery store this morning and she found this cute fabric and picked that up for me. I can't wait. And then I got cute little red palms and some awesome different um, ribbons and some rickrack. So that's gonna be a fun project. I'm gonna move this out of the way though. I'm afraid I'm gonna get paint on it. So give me one second. All right. Hey Ruth. Okay. Oh, you know what? Santa's legs will be black. So I need to paint those black. See, I like I said, I try to um, paint all my colors at once, but that don't always work out. Sometimes I miss pieces. Right, aren't his legs black? I'm getting so confused. Or is he supposed to be red? He's all red, isn't he? Teresa, she got it from Walmart. I think he's supposed to have red legs and I just painted them all black, darn it. Tell me, he's supposed to have red legs, isn't he? Let me see, you won't be able to see too much of it anyways. It'll be all right. I think I'm going to I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll go over it with white and I should be able to fix it and make it red. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, all right, so I do need to paint. I need to leave part of his up here. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> I painted the wrong side of that. Right? No? I didn't. I'm a mess. I didn't. Why is that so much smaller? I guess because this goes on top of it. So I do need around here to be his skin color. So let me do that part real quick because it's just a little bit. Yes, he's red and white and the boots are black. Thanks, Vicki. As soon as I painted it, that's why I left it because in the beginning I knew what I was doing and then I looked at it and I thought, oh no, I forgot that. And you're right, I did not forget that. I just... I just messed it up, that's all. I'll fix it. Okay. So his skin tone is gonna match Mrs. Claus and I used the toasted marshmallow for that yesterday. So I'm gonna use toasted mar marshmallow again today. I can't speak. Um, I don't remember. Let's see. So if I go like this, I should. I think I'll have all the parts covered that I need if I paint this section right here. That's what I was trying to figure out. Make sure I don't leave anything uncovered. And I'm gonna go right over his eyelashes because I'll go back over those when we're all done with the black. And because it's etched, I can still see where those eyelashes are supposed to be, so we'll be good. Okay. Oh, guess what? He's got a little nose piece that has to be skin tone color. So let me get that. Okay. Perfect. Now we can do our Santa Claus red and then we'll go back through and do our second layer of all our colors and probably a third layer on some of them even as well. I'm just gonna paint all of this red because whatever goes under the hat is fine. It's not gonna make a difference. It's easier than trying to figure out exactly where to quit painting. So because it's 3D, we can get away with that. Ugh, 
I got it in the white. Do you see how I did that? <laughs> He's got little spots because I got a little bit of that, um, goodness, what did I call it? Marshmallow. I got a little bit of that marshmallow color on my sponge. That is okay though. It'll get covered up when we go over in the second layer for sure. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do his whole body in the red. Guys, they are going to be so cute. Did you guys watch yesterday's live where we did Mrs. Claus? Let me show you her real quick if you're just hopping on. Here's our Mrs. Claus and she goes with Santa Claus. They're both um, little shelf sitters. And they're going to be adorable when they're all done sitting together. You guys, have you seen my new obsession lately too? I posted earlier this week that I got my first Reborn doll. Um, I got it because it looks just like Preston as a baby. There's the little girl version and obviously I only had Preston so I didn't have a little girl. Um, so I got her and then Preston is obsessed with her. So I decided to get another one and I ordered one, I think on Monday night. And it's gonna be a boy, but then this morning I found another one that was even cuter and looks more like Everly, the one that I've got right now. And so I ordered a third one. <laughs> um, but I am gonna try. I'm gonna sell the second one because I I don't like her as much. She doesn't she doesn't look like one of my babies. My baby has dark hair. Um, Preston had tons of hair when he was born. Me and my sister and Preston all looked a lot alike when we were babies. We had tons of black hair so that's what I want the second baby that I bought was kind of bald so I'm gonna sell her when I get her but anyways point of the the whole story being that I am gonna start reborning myself I can't wait to start painting dolls and reborning them I think that will be super fun um, and if you guys want to follow along with that make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where I'll do most of my reborn stuff I won't I might share a little bit here and there on my um, Dizzy Designer page, but I'll try to keep that mostly separate. All right, let's do his little arms. And then he's got just a little bit of red over here on this little piece. Perfect, and then we'll go back through and start our second layer of everything. So I'm gonna go back into white. Actually, I think I started, did I start with the white today or did I start with the black? I think we did black, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter. We just wanna give it time to dry and this is definitely dry enough to do a second layer. So we're good. Yesterday when I did the white, I think I did do a second layer on around her hair you could still see some of the burn marks from the laser or not a second layer a third layer um so we might have to go back in and put a third layer in certain spots but we might also be done after the second layer it just depends So I did these ones. Gotta keep track of what I've done and not done here. This one does not have, this is the one that I accidentally threw away the piece to. So I wanna make sure that covers good. So we don't have any yellow sticking out from the burn. I hear the dogs barking, maybe Preston's home. He went and spent the day with my aunt after he got to school done this morning, so it's been super quiet around here all day. I 
I can already see that parts of this white is gonna need um, a third layer. That's all right. I'm gonna like smooth it on here a second. Maybe that'll help thicken it up and then I can. You guys, you know what I just realized as I'm sitting here doing this, that I never did pull this towel last night. I left all my stuff out down here. So I said I was gonna take it off and wash it and get a new towel down here because of all these little fuzzies, but I didn't do that. So I will do that tonight for sure. Do the same thing, just kind of smooth it on here first and then I'll go back over and do the little pouncing. I like that because I feel like it gives it a good texture and then you don't see any you don't see any lines from like the brush strokes like you do if you paint with a paintbrush. Hello Jean, how are you doing today? it is about his beard it looks funky maybe it's just because parts of it are drying and other parts are still wet I don't know I haven't seen my paint cover like that before so I hope it's just because it's wet uh, did I do this one I did okay then the gold is fine with just one coat that was fine on mrs claus too i'm gonna run back over and do the black again real quick just because i like it to be nice and dark and then we'll go back over santa claus and we'll probably need to do another little touch up on the white and then probably another little touch up on the red and then we'll be able to put them together he'll be all done Hey baby, you're home. You're going outside to do work? Yeah, yard mowing. Okay, here, you can duck down and say hello. Hi guys. Yes, I, I, I cleaned all the uh, cold air returns today. I think Tammy see you. Yeah, look, I'm doing eye. Let me see it. Oh no, what'd you do to it? Did you get something in it? I scratched it, I think. Oh, I'll get you some eye drops when I come upstairs. No, you don't have to. No, you're good? Okay. No, I already had them. All right. Guess what? Mm. Emmett shipped already. What? Yeah. So He'll be here at the end of the week, maybe. He might be here this week still. Yep, that'll be pretty cool, huh? He must have already been done then. Yeah, they're already done. I didn't order anything custom. I just ordered dolls that were available. All right, you go do your work. I'll be done in I just a bit. Have you heard about the other baby yet? No, nope, I have not. I'll tell you when I do, though. Are okay? you putting Santa Claus now? Mm-hmm. Aunt Tammy loved that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, I'll are those uh, shelf setters? Yes. All right, love you, bud. What's I'll that supposed to be? I'll, honey, I'm on a live. I'll talk to you in a bit, okay? Yeah, <laughs> All right, I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Preston says, bye, guys. He don't ever want to talk to me. He's a typical teenager unless I'm doing something, you know, like live, and then he wants all my attention. He likes to work in the yard, so he's gonna go out and probably clean up leaves and stuff. I don't know exactly what he's doing. I think he just mowed, so I don't think he's gotta mow again, but. All right. This is gonna be so cute. They're gonna be so cute when they're standing up next to each other. I'll have to, I'll have to take a picture tomorrow and post it for you guys. All right, I think I got all the black pieces. I'm gonna go Along the side here, you can kind of see probably where my hands touched it after. Yep, exactly, because I just did it there. But you can see little spots on the edge there that are kind of white. So I'm just going to go over it with some black. And then I'm going to touch up Mrs. Claus while we're sitting here while I got the black paint out. She had a few little spots that I needed touched up. And then this piece slid a little so you can see the wood underneath that. Now she'll be perfect. All right, back 
to our um, toasted marshmallow for our skin tone. Just want to smooth that out nice. The second layer really takes care of oops, the brush strokes that I had on there the first time. There's a darn piece of the towel on my Santa Claus face. Awesome sauce and then we get to touch up our red and I see just a few little spots on the white that need a little touch up and Then we'll be able to I'll be able to show you what he's gonna look like when he's all put together Forgot his nose. He needs a second layer of skin tone on his nose Okay Gold's done the black's done The white is almost done and now we got our red Move this out of the way. I'm going to have to cut myself a sleeve because that's going to bother me that it's not matched because he's got one sleeve and then the other one he doesn't. Maybe I have that piece. Maybe it got dropped on the floor or something. I don't know why I don't have it. But if I can't find it, I'm gonna have to cut myself another piece because it is supposed to have a 3D layer of the sleeve. Um, so I'll have to fix that. It will definitely, will definitely make it look better when that's I don't know, maybe I want it to be like this and not have the men. I don't I'll have to play with it. We're not on that part right now. Hello, Rita. He's going to start coming to life here soon. He's going to be so stinking cute, just like Mrs. Claus. Uh-oh, I got some. Has anyone decorated for Christmas yet? I know it's a little early. I haven't decorated for Christmas. Not like the house is not decorated for Christmas, but my little craft area down here is decorated for Christmas so I could show off all my goodies for you guys. Gotta remember when we're crafting, we have to craft ahead of time. Otherwise, by the time you go to need your stuff, it's either sold out or you don't have time to get it done and display it. So I know I'm ahead of the game, but I'd rather be ahead than behind. Luann says, not yet. I have not yet either. Just my craft space. But I got my little tree set up behind me because I sell those custom ornaments. So I got that set up so I can display my little ornament. And then I have my, I'll have my Santa and Mrs. Claus sitters up behind me once I'm done with them. What else do I got back there? I got the little countdown to Christmas truck. I have a little door hanger back there. A couple little things I've done so far. Just wanna make sure I got a nice bright red for him. I think he's looking pretty good. As he dries, there might be a few spots that I want to add some to. Just like on the white, there's a few. Well, you know what? I don't think so. I think it's good. Now that I look at it a second time, I think it's good. So we're just going to let this dry real quick. I'm going to help it out with a little bit of the dryer. Okay. 
exacting Christmas decorations, just don't have them out. Same with me, basically, Luann, other than, like I said, behind me, but... I love Christmas decorations, but then once Christmas is done, I feel like it's been cluttered and I can't wait to get them put up, so I don't want to put them out too quick. I'll show you behind me. Just my craft room. I got the little door hanger, my tree, and these little things back here, so that's it so far. Nothing too crazy. skin tone color right here there's a little bubble of it so we'll let that dry still um and I do see that his nose doesn't look like it's covered good enough so I'm gonna do a little bit more on there but then let me show you guys what he's gonna look like make sure my hands don't have any wet paint that's gonna get on here oh I have to fix his legs because I painted his legs black all the way up, but I'm gonna fix those. I'm gonna paint those red in just a minute. And I'm gonna fix his eyes. Let me do his eyes. I should do that while we're on here at least. I'm kind of all over the place tonight, aren't I? Sorry about that. It's got a funky little piece hanging off of it. All right, I don't know why this is being, this is a better one. That bristles on that one must not have got cleaned very good. They're sticking out all over the place. Gotta take very good care of your brushes. I do sometimes, but not always. So there's his little eye. This one needs just a little bit of a touch up here. There we go. All right, now I can put them together and show you guys, but I will fix that. That'll be red, not black. I messed that up. His palm does need a little bit. I can see the burn sticking out under there, but that's easy fix. Um, let's see. This will go here. And this will go here. So I got a little bit of wet down there, so I'm trying not to move it around and get it on my red Santa suit. Um, and he's got his little gold buttons that we did. I think those look good. And his shoes, which are still wet. I can't believe his shoes are still wet. I feel like we painted those forever ago. And then he's got his little hand, and I was thinking See, he's supposed to have a 3D piece right here for another um, sleeve. And I think I'm going to leave this like this. He does have a glove, so I could make it all 3D. 
but I think it looks better without it. It makes it look like the sleeve, you know, comes over his arm like they do. So I think I'm going to leave it like that, but check him out, guys. He's super cute. I'm going to go fix this real quick. There's just a tiny bit that you're going to see that's going to be red sticking out between his, uh, the white part there and his shoes. So I'll fix that. I'll get them all glued together. And then I will post a picture of him all done tomorrow with Mrs. Claus. And if you didn't see her yet, here she is. <clears throat> the link to purchase Santa Claus is up above. You can purchase him by himself. Or if you want the set of them, that is available on my website too. So go check that out if you're interested. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.